This video provides 2018 data on the global fish farming industry with a special focus on Africa. All the data is sourced from the FAO, Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Uh, they have a database on world fisheries and aquaculture and it was sourced in 2020. Global aquaculture production since 1990 has shown very strong growth year on year, as can be seen from that slide. Annual growth rate is about 6.42% per annum compounded from 1989 through to 2018. And you can see the growth is fairly stable year on year as well. Since 2013, most of the seafood that we consume comes from aquaculture. In the background, by contrast, you can see world fisheries, that's freshwater and marine fisheries, that sits at about 90 million tons per year. There's a fair amount of year and year fluctuation, but in essence, over time, the industry is fairly stable. When we have a look at global aquaculture by country, you can see a very clear picture emerges, whereby China produces 58% of the global aquaculture output. Asian countries together produce about 93% of the 2018 total. Egypt and Nigeria were the only African countries in the top 23 producer countries that are presented in this slide. Roughly half of aquaculture output is fish, both in terms of value and in terms of tonnage. Crustaceans account for only 8% of tonnage, but 26% of value, indicating that they are very high value items. By contrast, plants represent 28% of the tonnage, but only 5% of the value, indicating that they are relatively low value products. Mollusks or shellfish are about 16% of the tonnage and about 13% of the value. From here on forward, we're going to talk purely about fish. The four primary fish species that are produced in the world are grass carp, number one, Nile tilapia, number two, and please note that for the sake of this comparison, I have included the Nile hybrids under Nile tilapia as well. The reason they were hybridized is because the Nile has got the best genes. So it seems only fair to me that they should be included making Nile tilapia the second most cultured species in the world. Third and fourth go to the silver carp and the common carp respectively. Then there's quite a decrease after that until fifth place, which is held by the big head carp. Notice that in these top five species, four of them are carps, and these carps are mostly produced in the Far East. Also, if you have a look at the chart, you can see that the top four species are produced in significantly larger quantities than the next six species, which equally are produced in significantly larger quantities than the remainder of the industry. So the top 10 species are really produced in far larger numbers than from 11 onwards. Other interesting species, Atlantic salmon is the seventh most produced species in terms of number. Pangasius is the eighth most produced. Rainbow trout, the 11th, and largemouth bass, the 17th most produced species by mass. When we look at the same figures, but instead of looking at them by mass, we look at them by value. You can see that Atlantic salmon, which is positioned number 7 by mass, is first by a significant margin in terms of value. Grass carp is the most produced species in terms of tonnage, but it's the second most valuable species in terms of dollars. Third most valuable is the silver carp, and only fourth most valuable is the Nile tilapia. Again, you can see the most produced species contribute considerably more in terms of value than do other species further down. When we bring the situation home to Africa, what we find is that Africa as a continent imported 3.5 million tons of fish in 2017. And unfortunately, I couldn't get 2018 figures because they aren't yet available. So I've used the 2017 figures in terms of import and export. I realize this is not the same as using 2018 figures, but there shouldn't be a material difference between 2017 and 2018. That is an assumption. So bear with me. 
In 2017, 3.5 million tons of fish was imported into Africa. In the same year, we exported 2.2 million tons, meaning that there was a net import of 1.3 million tons of fish into Africa in 2017. When we have a look at the marine and freshwater harvest of fish for 2018, we find that 12.4 million tons of fish was harvested from the wild. In 2018, another 2.3 million tons was produced from aquaculture. So the total harvest and production of fish in 2018 for Africa was 14.7 million tons. Plus the trade surplus of 1.3 million tons means a total of 16,0 million tons of fish was consumed in Africa in 2018. And I think it's fair to assume that if it was caught and traded, it was probably eaten. If we consider the 2018 population statistics, 1.3 billion people lived in Africa in 2018. If we divide the 16 million tons across the 1.3 billion people, we get an average fish consumption of 11.9 kilograms of fish per person per annum for that year. When we consider the African countries that farm fish, we can see that Egypt is by far the largest producer. What I've done in this chart is compared the figures for 2003 to the figures for 2018, providing a 15-year window so that you can see the extent to which these various countries have increased their production. From this chart, you can see that Egypt has tripled its production, almost quadrupled its production during those 15 years. Nigeria has increased by almost tenfold. Uganda has increased by 20-fold. Zanzibar hasn't increased much at all, from 94,000 to 103,000. Ghana has also increased significantly, and then there are many other countries that produce smaller quantities. But the main producer in Africa is Egypt, followed by Nigeria. When we look at these figures slightly differently, I've ranked this according to the aquaculture industry per country that is growing the fastest. And what you can see here is that Ghana, during that 15-year period, increased by 8,170%. Uganda increased by almost 2,000%, Kenya by 1,500, and Malawi by 1,350. And you can see there how the other countries have increased as well. Countries like Zanzibar, Madagascar, and South Africa have actually not increased that much at all, considering that it's a 15-year spread. When we consider the species groups produced in Africa, you can see that tilapia is the most important species in terms of tons produced and the most important by a factor of four. It's significantly more popular than anything else. Catfish is the next most important group, followed by mullet. And interestingly enough, mullet is produced in Tunisia, Algeria, and Egypt, nowhere else in Africa. And those three countries contribute to making it the third most important species group. The fourth most important species group are the carps, which are also largely produced in Egypt. Then the marine fish, which I haven't lumped because it's quite interesting to see which species they are, the gilthead sea bream, European sea bass, and the mega, the gyrosomus. Those three species are also produced in fairly significant quantities. Then the only other species of fish that is produced in really significant quantities in Africa is the Nile perch. Moving on to look at Africa by country. Egypt, as already mentioned, is by far the largest producer of fish in Africa, and their growth increased fairly rapidly from 2000 to 2018. But very interestingly, note that growth hasn't been smooth, it's been stepped. I'm not quite sure what the reasons for that are, it may simply be a matter of data collection. When we consider the different species being farmed in Egypt, you can see that tilapia, unsurprisingly, is the most imp important species by mass, with more than a million tons being produced in 2018. The other species that are important include Asian carps, common carp, and catfish. Nigeria is the second most important producer by weight output, 
By 2018, Nigeria was producing 291,000 tons of fish. The value of that fish is 840 million US dollars. In Nigeria, catfish dominate the output. It is by far the most popular species of fish being farmed in Nigeria. Several other species, including tilapia, carp, and Nile perch, are produced, but in relatively much smaller quantities. When we look at global tilapia production, we can see that it has shown a very rapid increase from 1 million tons being produced in 2000 through to 6 million tons being produced in 2018. That is phenomenal growth. You can also see that Africa produces roughly one-sixth of the world's production. The global price for tilapia averages at about one US dollar 40 per kilogram. In Africa, the output has grown from 173,000 in the year 2000 through to 1.3 million in the next 18 years, which is slightly faster than the rate at which the world output is increasing. There are three major players producing tilapia in the biggest quantities. China is the largest at 29% of the global industry, followed by Indonesia and Egypt. These three countries together produce around 70% of world production. The tilapia industry globally is worth about 3.9 billion US dollars. We look at tilapia production in Africa, Egypt produces 81%. It is completely dominant in this sector. Ghana and Uganda together produce a further 10%, and the rest of the continent only manages the remaining 9%. From this chart, you can see that the average price for tilapia varies significantly between countries, with Egypt and Ghana having a price of less than one US dollar per kilo, whereas in Kenya, Tanzania, and several of the other countries, the price exceeds three US dollars per kilo. The next major species produced in Africa is catfish. The catfish industry globally is worth about 678 million US dollars. And it showed very rapid growth from the early 2000s until the, about 2015, at which point it stabilized. And each year about 250,000 tons is being produced. The average price of catfish globally is about three US dollars per kilo, roughly double the average price for tilapia. If we have a look at which African countries are producing catfish, once again, one country totally dominates the sector, that being Nigeria, producing 68% of the world total. The only other major producer is Uganda at 14%. When we bring this down to an African situation, we can see that Nigeria is the major player, producing 73% of catfish farmed in Africa, followed by Uganda, producing about 15% based on mass. The rest of the continent produces minimal quantities, but the production of catfish is very widespread across a large number of countries. The average price in Africa for catfish ranges from about one US dollar per kilo in Egypt and Ghana, through to about four US dollars per kilo in Cameroon. Fish farming is on the increase across Africa. Tilapia and catfish are by far the most important species being farmed, but there are many other species and species groups being produced in smaller quantities. And bear in mind the carps that are produced in Egypt in fairly large quantities. The rate of growth of the industry is extremely rapid in several countries, leading one to assume that the future of fish farming in Africa remains attractive.